have to ask another question about Doom because I, I have a soft spot. You're a fan? You're a fan. I, I am a fan. It, it really does genuinely make me happy to like, I don't know, sit and have a beer and watch Doom. Really? <laughs> like I, right. Okay. I, I, I think it needs a little more credit. What kind of expectations do you have jumping into a movie like that when fan expectations are sky high, it could be a potential franchise starter, and then it doesn't really pan out? At what point do your expectations for the quality of the movie that you're making kind of kick in? Uh, well, I think, you know, I feel partly to blame in that respect because I think I failed for just through ignorance and innocence to understand to fully get a picture of what do meant to fans at that point I wasn't a gamer I didn't understand I should have like if I'd if I knew what I knew now I would have dived right into all of that and got fully Im immersed in it like I do now and I just didn't understand I I, I was quite um I, I feel embarrassed really I feel embarrassed that I was sort of ignorant of of what it meant. And I didn't know how to go about finding out, you know, because the internet wasn't the place it is now for the, the kind of fans to speak up. I wouldn't have known where to find them. Um, I do now. In fact, I, I now have many friends who were like massive fans of the game and I just wish I'd known them then. Um, but, you know, now it comes to the wheel of time, which obviously we're gonna, I'm jumping forward and, and I know I shouldn't, but I fully kind of embraced the fan culture of this book series. And like, I, I've i spent hours like finding out what they love and hearing what they have to say and like, you know, seeing what they discuss on the chat rooms and all of that. And, and I just wish I'd known to do that for Doom. So it's, it's a source of kind of regret for me that I didn't, um, I just didn't know enough about the business to be perfectly honest.